my man Steve, by the way. Engineer Steve, always keeping it fun in the stash. What's back? What's happening, gang? Welcome back. Real Talk Radio San Diego. We're hanging out. We got a hammer. We got a ladder. Sounds good to me, my man. Brent Chastain, owner of Chastain Creations. Brent, Brent getting us all artsy and stuff. I know. <laughs> right? For it's our, our Tuesday before noon here. I'm inspired. Brent, that's a good question maybe to start off with. So if someone were to hit you up maybe at a, a party or something, they said, man, like, hey, what do you do? What, what, would be, what would you answer to that? Well, typically, just honestly, I just tell them I make custom tables and kind of keep it, keep it brief. But if they want to know more, I'll just fill them in on kind of the process. And if they want to know more, I'll kind of tell them the backstory of how it got there. But, you know. I'm, real- I'm raising my hand. I want to know more. I want to <laughs> yeah, know more. I want yeah. backstories. I'm intrigued. Backstory. Well, I, I guess I'll start just, uh, you know, saying I grew up in Northern California, Sonoma County, up in uh, the Redwoods up there. And, you know, we every summer, that's kind of where we'd spend our time. And, you know, instead of, you know, just relaxing during the summer breaks, we'd be, you know, working hard. My dad owned a ready mix company. Um, so we'd, we'd always be, you know, doing stuff, getting dirty and... Ready mix is a, a concrete. Concrete, company, right? aggregate, right. you know, all that stuff. So, so you'd shovel rocks. Got and, it. You know, they actually would, like, drill holes down in the ground and, like, blow up rocks and then, like, shovel them off the, the mountain and crush them and, you know, the whole nine yards in that, that department. Um, so I kind of grew up, you know, working around that for about four years. And, um, you know, just for fun, we would just go out and cut firewood and we'd sell it, you know, and to the local stores and just, you know, have a blast doing that. So just that's kind of where, you know, my, my love for the woods and just being out there there started and, and uh, so after graduating high school, uh, joined the, the military, kind of was, to be honest, a little bit bored of college. So mm. I just kind of wanted to challenge myself, join the, the Marine Corps. You don't strike me as a classroom guy. <laughs> Not that you, you know, yeah. I'm sure yeah, you're no, sh- I, sharp as a whip, but just you know, your adventure, sense of adventure and whatnot. got to be outdoors, you know, that's kind of my, my character. You know, I just got to be out doing something, getting dirty um for sure so the marine corps kind of challenged me in that way um it was a lot of fun you know got to spend a couple years in japan Mm. and uh you know go to afghanistan for a little while and just meet a lot of cool people Uh, but i always just missed the redwoods always just missed you know i want i always i would actually spend you know a few thousand dollars every like three months to fly all the way over and just like hike through the woods and just kind of get centered again um and then uh back in 2012 uh, got out of the the Marine Corps. Uh, I'd met my wife uh, about a year prior. We had a baby on the way, um, and I got into sales and did sales for a few years. Um, and really, just y- my wife would would what say, "What kind of sales? Car sales, actually, oh, okay. auto sales." It really uh, it was kind of cool because somebody had said like, "You should just give that a shot." And I just I was like, "All right, you know, I'll, I'll try that out." I was going to school, get my bachelor's degree, and it just was it was perfect for. Uh, actually for being able to start this business because the flexibility it offered me. Um, but uh, my wife would always say that, you know, like you have a new idea every day because I've always been an entrepreneur. Mm. So I'd always be thinking through like different ideas, like what can I do, you know, to, to, to make, you know, a living for my family, provide for my family. Um, so I, being able to do this table business like integrated everything and it was like the perfect combination of being able to take that entrepreneurship side, um, that desire to be in the redwoods mm. and just combine the two. And also that artist side of being able to just put your own like soul into a piece. Um, so that's kind of how it came to be. It just, I was working in sales one day at the, the dealership there and just, I had always been thinking through like, how can I, how can I start something, you know, like create my own legacy. And that, that's kind of where it started just going, you know, I want to be up there and, you know, I know that resource is available and, you know, I just, took a leap of faith and I actually quit uh, that job and started this business and, and started it in the single car garage up in Carlsbad and just um, I flew up to Northern California and I saw this piece that my cousin he, he bought this mill because um, they were building some barns up there on the property that we have for they wanted to like host some weddings and he had this just giant log that would have been like kind of cut down and it was almost like a half log at the time. And I just looked at it and said, this piece is going to be a table. And that's kind of what started the whole operation is I drove that piece down into my single car garage and I spent about a month just hand carving the sides, shaping it and took it down to this art show in uh, Seaport Village. Mm. And uh, this awesome gentleman from uh, up in Bakersfield, he owns a few urgent cares. He, He just had to have it. And 
that really inspired the business to move forward because I knew that, you know, I can do this. And, uh, you know, if I just kind of am real with myself and just turn these pieces into what I want to turn them into, like people are going to enjoy them. And uh, that's kind of where it started. And uh, so for the next year and a half, I just kept working away in the single car garage. And finally, we've been able to open up a shop over here in Carlsbad. Um, so it's just great to have that space to not be confined. And, and uh, you know, it started off just sanding, you know, with the, this, the littlest equipment, cheap $50 sanding, you know, equipment. And now we finally have this stuff that we can do it right. And it just, it's cool to be able to create something from scratch. You know, I didn't have any investments or anything like that. So it's a bootstrap business and uh, <laughs> trying to just create it slowly and uh, offer people the best we can. That's wonderful. Yeah. So you really built everything from the ground up off of passion and you turned your happy place being in the redwood forest into your livelihood yeah. which is a beautiful thing and so now you mentioned that first piece that you made um, was up in bakersfield and you worked on that for a month how long does it typically take to make a piece is that the average or does it really depend on the work well Every table is unique. Um, every piece that we have requires a different amount of time, depending on the character and if there's rot within the within the slab. Um, we do have two different lines. We offer a, a, a line that does take some of the tables do take up to a hundred hours just for the top, not including the base or any of the finish work. Just the chisel part would take up to a hundred hours. Um, the average time for the tables that we make is probably around twenty hours per table. Um, and that's kind of where, where we're trying to end up. We're actually trying to be able to create the same quality product um, with a little bit shorter time so we can offer a better price as well. So we're working on that right now. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Now, do you just make tables or do you have other uh, opportunities for furnishings available for customers? Well, we do offer like we've done a few powder rooms where people want to like install like a really cool sink in the t in the top where you're actually taking like a natural st stone sink that comes out from the slab. And then you have like a faucet pouring into the sink. Um, you know, we do like benches, you know, anything that has to do with just that natural slab. Um, we don't want to. You know, the focus is tables. That's kind of where we want to end up. Like, we'd love to, like, really specialize in big conference tables, dining tables, coffee tables, you know, things of that matter. But, you know, if somebody has an idea and they're looking for to bring something like that into their home, like, we're open to, you know, suggestions and kind of seeing what we can do with the, with the material. So... Excellent. And do you find the majority of your customers are more business businesses, like you mentioned the conference tables, or is it more homeowners... It's actually a 50-50. We've had uh, quite a bit of marketing companies that have, you know, they have like 15, 20 employees and they just want this really awesome table that they can sit around and conversate and, you know, do conference calls with. So we've, you know, done a couple big like Redwood conference tables for some marketing companies. And, you know, we actually, we like to get a little bit into the restaurant industry too, maybe offer like some, you know, like I do have these really cool pieces that would just look so cool in a co like a coffee like house or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then we just have a lot of people that, you know, they just want this centerpiece in their home. Like when you walk in, you just see this awesome dining table or, you know, this coffee table that just this, this huge natural wood coffee table, you know. Right. So just, you know, I just say get creative and, you know, give us a call. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll have fun with it. Yeah. So. And you can give Brent a call at 760-405-7820, or you can find him at ChastainCreations at gmail.com, or at ChastainCreations.com is his website. If you haven't had a chance to check out his, his work, it's phenomenal. It's beautiful and very detailed redwood pieces that are reclaimed from the redwood forest. Um, so be sure to check him out at ChastainCreations.com. Um, now, if you had to really name a person that has influenced you and inspired you, who would you say that person is? Well, yeah, growing up, uh, you know, around my my uh, my dad uh, up in Northern California, he he uh, really just showed me, you know, hard work. Uh, he taught me, you know, what it means to to basically just go to work every day and just enjoy your work and and put your best foot forward. Um, he, he's he's been kind of the the person that's guided me through the whole process and got me where we're at now. I've I've kind of leaned into him for advice and suggestions. I've I mean we've 
he's probably sick of me by now. But I've called him so many times, just like, what do I do here? You know, how do we, what direction do we go this way? You know, and just, he's a, uh, you know, he's just a good man. And, you know, he's been a great inspiration, you know, just for bringing this to life and making it where it's at now. And I hope that he, uh, would continue to just, you know, bring, bring a lot to the table, you know, when it comes to just wisdom. Cause he, you know, he, he started that business, you know, pretty much from scratch as well. And he, he now owns a few of them up there. So he's just uh, a good resource to have up in Northern California. Nothing like having a good dad that's got your back and yeah, that you have good morals from. Um, now, now you said he started that business from scratch and he grew it. What do you see the future for your business? What do you see as the future of your business? Definitely. Well, I kind of have some really big ideas that require a lot of capital. So that's one of those things that, you know, as I build this thing slowly, hopefully I can start to get that kind of more fine tuned and create the capital to, to, to push forward. But the idea is to be able to offer almost a retail environment where people can come in and there's over a hundred slabs that have already been processed and finished and shaped and molded that they can look at and see and visualize the, the finished product and actually pick something out and pair it with a base right there. Um, and then the, also the other idea is to be able to do that online, to offer like a virtual platform where they can, where they can see that particular slab that they're looking for. For example, if they're looking for a coffee table, we can categorize them, get them into the coffee table section. They can see all the slabs that have already been finished and pick one out that they think they really like. And then they would go to the next step and be able to pick a base and you'd have actually an image of that table in the website so they could see what they're purchasing. And every single piece would be unique. Nothing would be the same because every piece is going to have its own character like we've talked about before. Yeah. So that's kind of what I'm trying to get to, to the place where people all across the nation can come and experience, you know, creating their own table. Excellent. Yeah. So now do you have customers all across the country? Are you shipping into other states right now? We are. Yeah, we've 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 shipped uh, actually all over the place. Chicago, Washington, New Hampshire, um, you know, anywhere. We could ship yeah, even overseas, you know, if if somebody overseas would like something. Um, you know, there's there's no limit to that, especially with today's, you know, shipping industry. It's just so efficient. That's very, very cool. That's very excellent. I'm so intrigued by your business, and I'm so happy to have you on today to share a little bit about your artistry. And um, it's so enlightening to hear that there's still you know, people that are willing to roll up their sleeves and get down and dirty. And, um, you know, those redwoods bringing a, a new life to them mm. and having them into in people's homes or in people's offices as a piece of art um, is really inspiring so thank you thanks for being on today you can check out brent at chastainecreations.com or you can give him a ring at 760-405-7820 um jesse we haven't heard from you in a while well i'll tell you what we're gonna actually take a quick break right now um we're gonna get a little sports commentary from our buddies over at cbs after all it is espn right so we got to get <laughs> people caught up on their fix but coming up I want to learn a little bit more about your chisel and hammer line. This is the thing I've been waiting for awesome, uh, yeah. ever since you sat down in the chair. So if you'll, if you'll grant us that gift, we'll do so right after the other side of this break. Real Talk Radio San Diego. We'll be right back. <laughs> 